Hello princesses, it's me, Spongy United 64, Adrian Z Cynical, and welcome to Pokemon Moon. Now, I technically have started to record this, if you guys saw the last episode, and but I want to do episode 1 over again, because I kind of did this a lot. If you guys didn't notice, so we're going to do it again. Terence has allowed me to, so yeah, we'll go, but we'll be, so I'm going to catch up to where he is, which isn't far into the game, by the way. And we'll, you know, continue on from there the next time when we go together. So, yeah, I'll leave the last episode up and I'll leave a link to it if you guys want to watch it. Okay, I don't think we need to update it. It's not necessary. I can just up I'll update it, like, off camera or something. <laughs> I said this last time. Okay, so if you guys already know what's going to go on, so I'm going to go through this relatively quickly, just so I can get it to up to the point we were at. I mean, I'm still going to read everything, but yeah. The sentence has been saved. Your message from Lone Reed is Professor Kaneki. And it's all blurred. Hang on, give me a sec. Hello. Hey there, good evening. So this is a finally day to come uh, oh, finally the day has come for you to move into Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands that's n that could be the reason the region is full coat but with nothing but rare Pokemon, yeah. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon either in Alola. Such mystical, cre mysterious creatures, even. Also, Terence and me did say we we're gonna like battle after every gym. That's still what happened. Don't worry. We we're gonna go back to the call-up episodes next episode, and there's a reason for it. And yeah, so th this is this episode. I just decided to redo since it was a bit since I moved the camera around a lot. Okay, we'll find them all over in the place, in grass, in caves, in the sky and sea. Here in Lola, we love our Pokemon, we all depend on them heaps too. Some of some of us even battle with them, we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rockcraft, can you wait until I'm done for the play? So cute. Alright, i got to ask some questions about yourself. So I can introduce you to everyone. So which poses should I use for your trainer pass? And this is where it gets to select our character. And again, I'm going to be the same character, so nothing's different. I'm going to be a brunette, because I am a brunette. Spell out your name. And yeah, sorry if it's bright, it's just that I'm playing during the day. Because I have to get this episode out. And we're going to name ourselves the same thing. Nothing's going to change about the playthrough. Nothing will. Except the fact that I just did an extra episode of it. So you go by Adrian Z. Yes, I go by Adrian Z. Such a weird name, I know. Temple, good buddy. I'll let everybody know that you're on your way, Adrian Z. And yeah, that name hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Woo! And they got like a woodpecker like Pokemon. And Rock Rock, which is so cute. <laughs> Can't wait to see you in in person then, cousin. Bye. Ain said, come help me with the book seeds. I don't know who that trainer is still. <laughs> I still don't know. Da, 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 da. Okay. Well, there's a big parallel with Sun and Moon is that me and Terence found out was that the sun takes place during the day, these cutscenes do, and this place it's Kirby, and this place takes place during the night time. Stop, it's the police. Get her. No, she's not the elite four person, by the way, I'm pretty sure of this. But I, I, but I'm not, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Then. I mean, there could be the elite four person of this le legion. I don't know who it is yet. That's that small.
Pokemon Moon, not Pokemon Big Bright, but whatever. You, you know what I mean. Pokemon Moon version. Three months later, what were you doing during these three months? I, I like asked this question before, and I never really understood why it would take three months for us to like whatever. Must be real busy. It's Rockraff. Rock, rock. I might catch Rockraff. <laughs> Just because they evolve into a weird Pokemon. Don't don't shine the camera over there, Adrian. <laughs> uh, could anything be more soothing than the first evening under the Lola's Car Moon? I feel like I can stay out here all night. Well, but enough of that. Time to unpack the boxes. Meow. Go get, go get Adrian's head for me, would you? Meow. So I got to do the voices. Hey, you can see me in the reflection of the camera. <laughs> you see my awesome hair. Meow. You can still kind of see me, even in this, in normal hue, but whatever. So yeah, we looked around this room already, so we don't need to look around it again. Meow, but you know, I'll look around it a little bit, because why not, okay. What do you want to say, meow? Meow. <laughs> no, I don't want to say. Not yet, anyway. I'm like doing this already, see? See guys, this is why I started over, because... Uh, okay. I confirm. So yeah, we got um, some things here. We've got a, uh, even on Tiny Clothes, Kanto, and a lot of those things awfully far apart. These are moving blocks, full of your belongings. Why don't I take things out of there then? So we you game pass screen. Showing the movie, just showing the four boys walking down the set of road tape. Gotta go soon. Okay, we've looked at everything else, and I'll leave you guys to go back to my last episode too, if you want to see, like, more of the house. Because there's definitely more to see. You were out like a light, weren't you? But now you ought to be full of energy now. So, Angel, you pumped you some Pokemon? Some Alola Pokemon? I guess. Oh, someday you're going to learn to have a little wonder in your life. <laughs> Alright, Mum. We live in a roach meeting now. The people I understand are to visit. I'm sure Pokemon live in peace in this. Must be friendly, right? Oh, that, was that a doorbell? You, that must be Tresica. Go let him in. Why? Can I go behind you? Oh, I can't. Why well, did I talk to you again? Was that the doorbell? Yes, it was. So yeah, we can go into our mother's room. But, you know. And I'll leave a mystery to what's in there in this video. But if you guys want to see what's in there, go to my last video. You'll, you'll see it, trust me. After a weird amount of sounds. Hey, you can see me again. Oh no, he's hot! Hey, Agent Z, the name's Kurt. Good to meet you, cousin. Gotta be, gotta be tired after that long trip out here to the road. Yeah, now it's kind of night time. You're feeling any jet lag? No, no, we're running at a smooth 50 frames per second. I mean, 60. Like, spat everywhere. <laughs> We're sure to meet a long way from Tanta out in Alola. It's still night time out here. Where's the ground? Yes, we just arrived yesterday. What? Really? I thought we'd been here for three months! Oh, whatever. Maybe 
maybe we like just got here a day ago, but the cut screen we heard like before was three months ago. So we've already visited this guy technically. And we were just moving maybe from Kanto to here. I guess maybe then, but I, I don't know. I failed to see how it would take us like almost a month just to get here. But whatever. No, wait, it would take us three months to get here, which is weird. It's like, what, what have we been doing? What, what were we on? A cruise ship or something? A really slow cruise ship? No, oh, whatever. Hey there, mum. Just let myself in. Oh, call me Kang, would you? Welcome to Alola. Of course, I remember seeing you battle in the Indigo League back in Kanto all those years ago, you know. I've been in love with a lot of Pokemon ever since. I'm fully just going myself to come here myself. Ah uh, ha ha ha, I suppose we're visiting there. It's research Kanto moves and all, and I thought I knew a lot of things too about battling, but those gym Kanto gym leaders put me wrong. Yeah, they are nightmares to beat the Kanto gym leaders. They're like the hardest gyms ever. Except in Omi, except in maybe Ruby and Sapphire and Diamond Pearl, they have some hard gyms as well. But like, but you, but you can easily, but you know, especially Norman, freaking Norman is was a nightmare. Gen two is just Gen two was the easiest of the generations in terms of them. As long as you knew what you were doing anyway, it was easy. <laughs> hey now, you should do that. Get move on to the next door. So, I mean, next town over cousin. <laughs> I don't know. Time to meet the Indic Island Kakuna and get yourself a Pokemon, yeah. Yeah, the Kakuna lives in Ica Town. He's always happy to give kids who want to have an adventure with their first Pokemon, yeah. But don't try. Take on, but don't try taking on the Karasun yourself. The Karasun are crazy strong Pokemon trainers. They are unbeatable. They're unbeatable for folks like you, you and me. I think that's what he said. Somebody give my boy a Pokemon. They're, these kind of are really worth nice meeting. Uh huh. Go get ready. Your bag and hat are still in your room. I think. <laughs> and don't. And you didn't leave. And don't didn't you leave a copy of Adventure Island on your desk there too? I better get that starting hat to match him. Okay, so we need to get two things actually. I thought we was gonna get one. Why do I keep doing this anyway? I think that's just me. It's just the thing I've always done. Even in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series, I moved a DS around. Oh, you pulled out your hat. And... I look good. Wasn't I not wearing? Well, uh... What am I, 10? <laughs> Didn't I pick up all my books? You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. I mean, sure, I think, say that. I just. Ah, I need to get my legs straight. No wonder I move around so much. My legs are not comfy. I'll be sure to have everything cleared up and put away by the time you come back with your new Pokemon. Well, it's starting hat, cousin. He doesn't look the same as yours, like. Your mum there, she's still looking forward to see you getting your first Pokemon, yeah? Let's go to Ick Town. Right? Time for you to get real nice Pokemon from, uh, from the island, c c c yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's so nice to have another Pokemon around. It'll be so nice to have Pokemon. Hurry back, Adrian said. Meow. Can I go out here? Oh my god, I can. We have a nice balcony with boxes on it. So that the screen is really dark and you can see my face a lot in it, but whatever. That's not my fault. It's not an issue. It's not really an issue I want to deal with because I just have to do this episode during the day. This reminds me of that music from the demo. Oh, I can move. 
So we've got to go this way to the left and we'll meet up with this guy. And me and Terrence actually haven't read this, so I'm going to read this. Now, it's more like it. This is more like it, yeah. Welcome to paradise, cousin. This is the Alola region. Folks around here go get along with together with Pokemon to work together too. After all, you can go anywhere. Yeah, as long as you got Pokemon helping you gear. Yeah. That's why we got to get you to the Kakana. First off, we're off to Igtown. Come on, there's... It's not far if we cut up here. Okay, I think we've done. And we actually got a bag, so I'm going to quickly check what we have. We have absolutely nothing. Well, I guess I'm going to leave off here. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with Terrence next episode. Boop! <laughs>